Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am sitting in front of Hannaford. I cannot take you in this store. They do not welcome my camera. Shame on them. But I haven't done a car vlog in a long time, it seems like. I think last week I completely skipped any kind of tag along or ride along, which was the first time in a long time. The week before, I almost missed it, but I got it in there on a Sunday. But last week, I just didn't. I really didn't go out. The last time I went out was, I believe it was last Thursday that my mother had an appointment in Bitterford. So I did take her to that. Or was that the week before? I think that was last week. And then I believe it was Friday that Sandy picked me up. What did we do? We just did a quick outing. Might have been. I don't remember, but I know she picked me up and we were expecting snow because I remember her saying to me that I should back my car up because I had left it far in the driveway to make it easier for my mother. So I did indeed back the car up. It did indeed snow and I cleared the ramp and made a path for the mailman but I have not left my house since Friday, and the only time I've ever even been outside was to check the mail, which I do almost daily now. And for those of you who have sent packages, I don't know the names, I have maybe five packages of various sizes. Some are just like envelopes, and I think I have two boxes, so I will be doing that. I might record that Thursday night and have that uploaded after midnight on Thursday, so I'll have it for Fan Mail Friday. Or I might do it Friday. Just depends how my schedule goes. So I am here for my mother who ran out of bread and forgot to tell me because she thought I had bread in the freezer. And I should know that if I don't leave the house for four or five days, even though maybe I have two loaves of bread in the freezer for her, that is not enough. That woman goes through bread. She eats bread all day, every day. I've said it before, she probably has six to eight slices of bread every single day. So when I buy her like the Italian sliced loaves, that can last her two days, three max. So I'm here to get her some more bread and she asked for bananas and we need eggs. So I'm going to get eggs and I thought, why don't I take the camera with me? I didn't even feel like going out, but that's because I am so used to just staying home, but it did me good to get out of the house for a few minutes. So I'm just going to run in and get some stuff and then I'll chat with you when I get out. Don't go away. Stay. Good girl. Good boy. I got recognized. How exciting. Two women right in front of me at the checkout. One waved to me and said hi and I thought she was a neighbor that I had once upon a time. So I said hello back. And I said, how are you? And she said, I like to watch your videos. So then I knew it was somebody that I didn't know. So big shout out to Maddie and Sally. Hi. I'm so glad that I got to meet you too. Sally was originally from Sanford, but they've moved since then. So that was pretty cool. And uh, it's cool and partly, mostly very embarrassing. <laughs> Because, like I said, when I do record things, I'm myself, and even though I know it goes to YouTube and goes to whoever wants to watch it, I feel like I'm very hidden. But obviously not. People do watch, and let me move this a little bit. I don't feel like I'm in the right place. But it's cool to be recognized by videos. I used to get recognized a lot from my coupon blog, and of course, I don't do that anymore. But thank you so much, Sally and Maddie, for chatting with me and for letting me know that you watch. I appreciate it very much. I really do. About a year ago, I was sitting in this parking lot. I specifically remember I was facing in the opposite direction. Pretty sure I was crying. I think it was in March. I will actually link to that video down below. I won't watch it, so I don't know exactly what it was. There might be two similar, so I might link to both of them. But it was a year ago that I was changing my job from coupon blogger to full-time YouTube. Many of you will remember that. When I was doing coupons, what I was doing for that for almost five years is every Monday I would go to Shaw's and pick up the Shaw's Flyer. Shaw's is a grocery store chain that we have here in the northeast of the USA. And I would scan it and I would post deals like something was on sale and if there was a coupon to go with it, I would post the deal so people would know to print that coupon and they would shop and get 
a better price because items were on sale. So that was what a coupons deal was. And like I said, I did that for almost five years, you know, and I would do deals from other stores. I mean, it was just what I was doing 24-7, and I was making very good money with that. So it was a nice ride while it lasted, but then Shaw's started to be not so nice. They changed management a few times, and the newer managers weren't, like, in love with me getting their flyer and posting deals, and they would make it hard for me to get the flyer and just have a snotty attitude. Income was going down because of changes that the coupon affiliates were making. So it was just a very depressing time for me. It was very sad. I was totally in love with what I was doing for a long time, and I hated the thought of losing all that. And it was at that time that I suddenly started getting more subscribers on my YouTube channel, which I was at that time mainly using to promote the Shaw's deals, coupon deals. But I was doing some tag-alongs and hair videos. The way my tag-along started is that when I would go to Shaw's to get the flyer, I would buy some groceries at the same time and pick up things, and then I would sit in my car and show everybody I got the flyer, and that will be up soon, and then I would show them what I bought. So that's how my parking lot vlog started. And Shaw's got to the point, they did not want my camera in the store, but I bring it in there now if I ever go in there because, like I said, management changed and the manager who didn't want the camera is long gone. Long story short, it was a rough time for me. Making the change was very bittersweet. I hated leaving what I loved to do, but then I couldn't really love what I was doing anymore because I wasn't making the money that I was used to making, and I knew it was only going to go downhill. And out of the blue, I started getting a lot more subscribers on my YouTube channel, and, pe and people were leaving a lot of comments on a haircutting video that I had done, which at the time I think had already been out there for four months before YouTube started putting it out to the world into suggested videos and things, and people were finding me. When I started talking about, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the Shaw's flyer anymore, I was getting a lot of comments saying, I don't even care about your Shaw's deals because I'm in UK and I watch you because of this and that. And I was getting so many of those kind of messages. I'm like, who are these people? Why are they watching me if they're in the UK when I'm a coupon deals blogger? So it's when I started to realize it's because they found my hair video or a few other videos and they would watch me in my car even though they didn't care about Shaw's. They didn't even have a Shaw's. So that's when it all fell into place for me that I thought I can make the move because I have a new online family now. I have other people who like me and are entertained by me and watch my videos who don't care at all about coupon deals. So to that bunch of you, and I you know many of you by name, I can't say them all, and I would forget so many of you. To those of you who were there with me at that point and saw how hard that transition was for me, don't want to cry. I can't thank you enough. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for all the encouragement you gave me a year ago and how you were just such the perfect online family to help me get through the rough transition that I went through. And it was rough because I did miss what I was doing and I lost a lot of followers, people who I got close to for almost five years, some people who were with me from the beginning. And that business, I even really got to know people in a way better because most of the communication that I had with everyone was on my Facebook page. So I got to see names constantly and people commented all the time and I knew I would be losing them. And I did. I did lose many of them. My blog used to get over 5,000, anywhere between 5,000 to 10,000 views per day. And when I announced that I was stopping the Shaw's deals, I was lucky if I would get 100 views per day. That was a big sinking hit. And I also lost income that way too, because you can earn by ads on a blog just by the number of views 
doesn't, they don't even have to click on anything. It's just by the number of people who come to visit. So I lost a chunk of money with that. I just was losing money all over the place. Luckily, I had saved enough money that I knew I could easily make a transition and support myself for at least two years without having to worry about whether or not YouTube would ever make me money. So I was in a very good position where I had done all the right things and I had leeway to just try something new and not be sick to my stomach about where's the money going to come from. And that was a very good thing that I had savings because my husband even left his job last year in January. So all of last year, we were living off just my income and my savings. And I say my savings. Yes, certainly his money went into my savings, but he would have never saved money if not for me. So it was a good thing that we had that. And then, of course, he died in November. So 2016 was rough in that sense. I lost my husband. I was the sole supporter. I wasn't making much at all. I mean, just a couple hundred bucks a month on YouTube, if at all. And I had lost an entire online family that I missed dearly. But I gained such an awesome family that I love. And it's hard for me to believe that it's already been a whole year and it's like I don't even really remember my previous life because I like this life so much better and I still do dabble with coupons because even though the money just trickles in I still promote some coupons I don't really do the deals but it's like it's okay to just play with it to make a little bit if I can pay my electric bill I'm happy you know it just doesn't take but a few minutes but it's nothing like I was doing and it certainly does not involve the family that I once had. They left, they didn't come back, <laughs> and a lot of the bloggers that I followed five years ago, most of them quit before I did or stopped doing deals. So I made the right decision, but here's the thing. If that cart girl doesn't leave my site soon, she decided to use the front of my car as the place to park all the carts as she walks all around this lot. <sighs> Seriously, she's been here for like 20 minutes. Okay, she's on her merry way. I kind of feel like I'm going through another transition, certainly not as drastic as the one before because last year I changed careers. This time I'm just changing the way I do things I spent all of last year on YouTube just really playing with all kinds of videos and putting what I could out there. I didn't pay attention as much to the behind the scenes, what I could do to help my channel. This year I'm focusing on that and I'm also finding that I really only want to do videos that I am in the mood to do at the time. So the schedule that I had at the beginning of the year has changed in a way because I find that there are just some videos that if I look and see on the schedule I have to do that this week and my gut says I don't feel like doing it. It's silly for me to do it. I'm only going to do things I love. And with this new energy that I have, since going to an all-meat diet starting last November, I have energy to want to do all kinds of other videos that I would have never had the energy to do. Like, I feel like I could just sew around the clock. I can go up and down the stairs. I can go down to the cellar and get fabric. I can go up the stairs to my old vacant bedroom to put things on my mannequin. You know, there was a time where I didn't even want to do that. So with this energy now, I feel like my videos are changing and I do worry about that because I feel like it's turning more into like a craft and DIY channel. I know many of you are going to say, well, that's how I found you. Just like last year, there's going to be people saying, I found you because of quilting and because of DIY and clothing transformations. And so they will want that. But I do know that others will drop off. The people who just really rather see me walk around in a store with a camera, stuff like that. So it's hard to please everyone. I do like knowing what videos everyone likes. I don't think I'll stop doing cameras in the store. It's just that I haven't gone 
out to the store as much and that will change because it's getting to be nicer weather. So I think there'll still be a lot of old stuff but I think there will be probably more crafts and DIYs and I really think that I am going to have to put ASMR videos on another channel. I want so much to do them because I just love ASMR so much personally that I want to give back to that community. And I know there are some of you who enjoy it, but I know there are a whole bunch of people who not only don't enjoy it, but just think it's an odd, weird, or downright stupid thing to be recording. And I understand that. And I know some people have tried it because I had it on my channel and they're like, you know, just seeing me play with a bunch of buttons. If you don't get the feeling that ASMR provides, if you don't get that kind of place where you zone into the sound and it just relaxes you and takes away your anxiety, then you're not going to enjoy those kind of videos. So I think they're going to need a home of their own. I really do. And I want a binaural microphone. I don't like listening to ASMR that is not binaural. I am all about the sound in the ears. I like to hear it on both sides. I really think I'm going to make the investment and start doing ASMR on another channel. I know, I know, another channel, it just sucks. But the few times that I dabbled with it on my main channel, I just don't think it's where it belongs. So I don't know. I don't know. If you guys like ASMR, leave a comment down below and let me know. I could probably still try it a little bit on my main channel and just hope that those who don't like it just skip past it. It's where I would really rather be doing it, but I just don't know. I think if I keep it on my main channel, the ASMR people who happen to come across it, the ones that are looking for just those type of videos, I think they'll be disappointed if they see that I do all kinds of other things because I think they tend to like a channel where just everything is ASMR. So I don't know. So I still have a lot of decisions to make. And I just wanted to chat with you today because I haven't chatted with you in a while. Took a little trip down memory lane, which made me cry for a second. So I can officially put it in the Watch Darlene Cry playlist to think I actually have a playlist called Watch Darlene Cry because I used to cry so much in my videos because I was always so depressed. And I mean, whole videos. I'm, the time I went to Bitterford and I just cried. <laughs> it's not funny, but I was crying so hard that whole day. Ah, I even was crying in the stores. <laughs> As you can tell, I am home and it is much later than it was when I recorded the first part of this video. But thing is, I ran out of memory, so I had to just stop abruptly. Boy, I was in the mood to chat. I had like 45 minutes left on my battery and I wore it out. I even went to Rogers after Hannaford, so it's a good thing my battery died in Hannaford because I would have talked to you more after Rogers, too, and bored you to tears. So I just wanted to say bye because I wasn't able to in the car. I'm glad that you went out for a little bit with me and that I got to chat with you from my car. I miss that. It is one of my favorite places to do a video inside my car. The other place is right here in front of my computer. I feel at home in front of my computer. So I just wanted to say bye and thank you for coming with me. Thank you for making it this far into the video. Like I hope you did. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, click my face and please subscribe. I am on a mission to reach 50,000 subscribers. I would like to do that by the end of 2017. Yes, I like to dream big. Help me get there. Thanks.